welcome to part two of the Transcendence SP World Tour. We saw a lot of good stuff in the last episode, and I promised I saved the best for last. So, without further ado, let's keep going. I'm gonna follow this path, and um, we've been trying to add little small builds here and there to add story. So, mm -hmm. what, we're gonna, what we're gonna come across here is an old card outpost. It's kind of ruined. Yeah, it's kind of ruined, but if you go inside, you can see that they repurposed it. So somebody came in and said, all right, we're going to reuse this place. So they set up these tents. It's kind of like a new um, setting of an old structure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still like fortified enough for them to like have a reason to use it, but they can't really use the buildings or the towers like as living quarters. Right. Yeah, really cool. Oh, like, I just love castles, like small castles like this. I, I guess it's not a castle technically, but like, it's a fortified structure. I just love smaller fortified structures. There's something about them that reminds me of like bandit camps in like The Witcher or whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, for sure. No, I gotta finish texturing this thing too. I haven't, uh, I haven't finished. Yeah, this is really good. This is nice. So let's, uh, you, to get this, you really got to get down on the ground here and kind of walk the perspective. And then don't look to the left yet, right? Just kind of look on the path. I will do my best. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to come across that. Yes. Okay. I see the inspiration. I know exactly, I know exactly which build this is. What you're referring to when you're talking about con conquests? Yeah, so you, you must be a Dukan Red fan. Yeah, <laughs> this is Castle Lumiere, kinda. <laughs> Heavily inspired. <laughs> so this is, is kind of a mesh. So the guy who who uh, built this, he gets really inspired by certain builders. So this is like a B Dubs palette mixed yep. with the Dukan Red structure. Yes. So. It's definitely grander than Duke on Red's ones. Um, this one is has a lot, a lot more like height to it. I feel like this feels like a grander structure to me. I really like it. Yeah, and it's got yeah, it's a lot of diorite. I guess that's the B Dubs palette you're talking about, like diorite and yeah. granite. Yeah. Yeah, this is actually really cool. I've I gotta be honest, I've seen this on Twitter. This build. It's, it's so good. I really like this this build. Mainly because I've also been slightly inspired by Duke Red 1 by the Castle Lumiere and trying to do something similar like a fortified manor. I feel like this is a lot more substantial. Like this is a lot bigger. Maybe I'm... Maybe it's not. Maybe his was this big as well, but it's... It's just different because, yeah, this is like on a little island. He raised it up. Yeah. To make it more fortified. But he added I, some modern uh, details to it. Like, see the chains on the flags, like the flagpoles. Yeah, that's really cool. I, I got to walk this path here. I got to walk through the long tunnel. <laughs> oh, yeah. The gatehouse. The murder holes. Yep. Lovely. So good. I love this tower in the middle. It's so well detailed. Like the shape, the 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 shape of these like um crenellations. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, he did a good so job good. converting this to a vanilla palette. Yeah, using the walls a lot. Very good. Ooh. So here is a small build. Um, this is one of our original kingdoms but i brought you here because i wanted to show you kind of some work that they've done with the armor stands um yeah, yeah the yeah. person who did this is really creative so let's start start on the ship here and um, go below deck finally the port of elenia those were for sale uh, Ick. this is cool that's where the stairs are 
person who did this is like really, uh, really creative. This is awesome. This reminds me so much of like Morrowind or something. I don't know. Yeah. Like uh, the little NPCs having drink. chats, you know? He's a little drunk. He drank too much meat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here they're playing cards, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, it's the small details too, because you see this guy. He's like, yeah, I want to get his hands up in the air. Yeah, yeah. It really tells a story, you know? That's what I love about it. It really does. This is brilliant, though. Naming them. That it actually, like, this seems really hard. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't see. <laughs> Fresh meat. Good meat. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. <laughs> yeah. It really adds to the immersion in a way that I've not seen before. Really cool. Yeah, because, I mean, there's two ways to add life to a world on a server. You can add NPCs with the villagers, or you could use the... So this place is called Pandaria, obviously inspired by WoW. Yeah. Um, but it um, it's really good. This, this is one of our first kingdoms, too. It's really come a long way. Slay the zombie. This is um, really nice. I like the red nether brick for the roof here. Maybe we yeah, need to fly yeah. to get a good view of this. Yeah, so these these trees here are all part of the, the biome. So this is a kind of a bamboo forest slash um, Japanese biome. These are insanely huge. But... Um, what I like about this kingdom is there's a couple of really unique things here. So number one, the way that the terrain generated here, there was a, a big cutoff here, so it didn't look good. It was just kind of a flat cutoff cliff. And so she had to, the builder had to uh, kind of come up with some creative ideas on how to fix it. So what she did was she added this, these rice patties, right? Because, you know, what would an Asian uh, theme build be without some rice patties, right? Exactly. Um, but then to add to it, then they added this this uh, aqueduct system, right? Yeah. The, the aqueducts feed into this traditional, I think it's Japanese uh, water wheel. And this oh, was really unique cool. the way they did this. So they so they they found a picture online and they really tried to replicate it, and I think it actually looks almost identical to these uh, historical uh, ones they used to. This is actually really cool. These these towers and wheels are really well done. This is really... Um, this is a good building. Yeah, so this is the Adventurer's Guild. So this... Um, can, can I just say these lions? <laughs> they are amazing. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so remember I mentioned um, the fields I wanted to show you? Yes, textured fields. Yeah, so let's go there. Okay. So this I can already feel that this is my my jam. <laughs> so this kingdom is called Cannibal Island. And the story here is that a group of settlers were shipwrecked here. Um, the island was actually home to a cannibal tribe. And a lot of debauchery and bad things happened here, so. I don't know how PG your channel is, but we can, <laughs> we can talk about something. Uh, it's uh, kind of PG, but... <laughs> but there's, a, there's a lot of, let's say there's a lot of poppy fields and things on this island. <laughs> but what I like about what this builder did is uh, she's really good with texturing um, beaches and fields. She's mm -hmm. really good. Oh, I heard some monster sounds from somewhere. Oh, probably. I I just want to walk through here because I this type of terrain work is so good. It's so heavily detailed. Everything is so crammed together and I love that. It just gives such a cozy vibe. Even though maybe it's not supposed to be cozy, but it gives me the cozy vibe. <laughs> oh oh man, I can see all oh, these it's like terraced fields here in these like little stone things. Really cool. 
Yeah, I love how she did these uh, beaches too. She did a really good job. Oh, with all the coral and like the height differences and the stairs to have the little water. That's so cool. I really also, I saw, I just saw this. There's, so there's like a, okay, it starts with this pond and then there's like a little creek going through made with like stairs and slabs, waterlogged going through here and then all the way out into a little waterfall out into the sea. So good. The, the terrain work here is actually insane. Oh, so yeah. So, so check out these fields. Actually. Yes. So you really got to get in there and, um, and just look at the small details and, and the choice she used for the plants. Yeah, but also like just the, this look here, <laughs> this view, <laughs> just standing here and looking out, it's really good, especially with all these like, I really love the way these paths are like higher up. Oh man. Yeah, the, so the wheat with the grass, and then... Oh, okay, so the nether... The warped fungi? Warped fungus? Warped fungus. Potatoes. With the, is it potatoes? potatoes and the tall grass? Yeah. That's a very uh, unique combo. Isn't it? Yeah, that's so cool. The warped fungus is like... I never really thought of using it for anything, really, but it's... It actually looks really good here. <laughs> it's so subtle too, right? Yeah. Ferns. We love ferns. Roses and poppies. Yeah, yeah. So all the same colored flowers. This is just, beautiful. Yeah, just, I just always love the way she um, combined it. The block palette of the, uh, the you know, the, the ground itself. Yep actually insane these fields i love these this is probably like the insane organics builds they're really cool but this is like this is my jam like this sort of terrain and like this attention to detail on the micro level and then the scale of everything just feels like you as your minecraft character is supposed to be here right oh yeah everything's like scaled perfectly to to your minecraft character you know, the, the whole of the build itself is not a lot, but when you look at the tiny details, like, so she's been working on this for the entire year. And, uh, yeah, I, I understand it. that. It's just, yeah, it takes a while. It takes so much time to do this sort of stuff, but it's so worth it. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so how about some steampunk? Steampunk, big old right. wheels. Chimneys. Okay, floating islands. Yeah, so this is an actual biome. So these islands weren't made by us. They were, uh, th this is an actual biome. Oh, snap. But it's they are very well done. Very it's well perfect. generated, right? Yeah, and it's perfect for that kind of high fantasy. Yep. Style. So yeah, so this is mainly traditional steampunk as you can tell mm -hmm. um, one of the main features here on the main island is the giant windmill so if you look at it right look at the blades and if you kind of lean back a little bit you can tell that the, the gray wool is actually supposed to give kind of a shadowing effect yep i see that it's really good yeah that, that was really that's cool. a giant that's cool. That's really cool. And that's a really small detail that you would notice, right? So using a different color wool to kind of show that shadow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like thinking more like when you're drawing or when you're painting a like a figure or something. Have you ever painted like my the Warhammer figures? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of more like that way of thinking instead of like the regular way you think when you, you Minecraft build, you know? This builder is it has a very unique style, and uh, it's kind of a Mediterranean sort of theme. Very really Mediterranean vibes, right. yeah. But when I asked him what his um, what his original inspiration was, he mentioned some castle in Germany. I'm like, huh? Okay. 
Oh. So this is the same sort of biome, right? Yeah, this is the, actually the exact it. same biome. It's just on the other side of it. Oh, okay. Um, actually, if you come back to where we spawned in here, he has a nice little detail here on the little market stall. Kind of see how he's got the kind of drooping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Using the banners as well. Really cool. The good shape, good shape to it. Feels very organic. Feels really good. And it's on a diagonal as well, which helps. So good. This style, like, oh, this structure is really cool where there's like a lot of rectangles intermingled put together. I get strong, I think, I don't know why, but I get strong Pearlescent Moon vibes from this. Yes, so uh, actually she is one of his inspirations too. Yeah, okay. I can totally see that. With the like the small gradients everywhere, the kind of... There's something about the roofs and the way he's like mixing shapes together is very pearlescent moony in, in like... From what I can see. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like the squares and the rectangles and the squares, yeah. Yeah. Kind of stacked on top of each other. Yep. But very, very cool. I I don't know. This is just this is just really good. Hopefully uh, we get to see this grow a little bit more. It seems like it's kind of started and a lot of this is not finished or Yeah, a lot of our players are um, high school kids, so a lot of them, you know, they're focusing on a lot of work right now. Yeah. School work. It's really cool to have a lot of people be able to be a part of something like this. But um, going along with the Mediterranean vibes, we're going to see a big one here. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know Jermsey Boy's work? Yes, I do. Uh, n yeah, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so he was a um, big inspiration for this place. Ooh. Oh, yeah. This is, this is lovely. But Mediterranean builds are great because number one, you can use block palettes that you would never use anywhere else. Like you can use bright colors, like yep. yellow. So you can use glazed terracotta where you never really would anywhere else. You know what I mean? Yep. If you come over here, you can see some. Glazed, oh, the glazed terracotta, yeah. It's funny that we talked earlier about like Duke on Red 1 and, and uh, Conquest Reforged, because I think what I try to do and what I think this is also does really well is that like Conquest Reforged vibe, but in vanilla. So in Conquest Reforged, nothing really has that seven layers of depth because they can use like trap doors for everything. They have like all sorts of trap doors. They have like vertical slabs, all that sort of stuff. So that you never really get those like exaggerated depthy stuff. And I'm trying to replicate that vibe in vanilla, and I think this does that really well as as well. Like the, just like that you were saying, you don't need the seven layers of depth with the like, you know, crazy wide roofs to get more depth and stuff like that. You just need like some nice texturing and some nice small details on there, <laughs> and then it looks good. Yeah, this and this build really uses the terrain well. So this waterfall was natural. Uh, All right. Really nicely. Yeah, this is beautiful. Oh yeah, they just built everything around that. With a bridge here is nice. Oh, and this bridge is really nice. Oh man, so good. So much good stuff. So what's the plan for continuing this then? Climbing up the mountains? <laughs> I don't know what they're going to do, yeah. I think, um, I think the guy who took this over is taking a little bit of a break, too. But um, I think his next plan was to add a palace somewhere over there. Oh, yeah. But um, So we're going to stay with this theme, this kind of Mediterranean theme. Take it to another place here. Seems to be a pretty like prevalent theme on the server. Yeah, well, 
Yeah, just, well, these two main builds here. So this is another one that's kind of a Spanish, this is more of a Spanish influence. Mm -hmm. yeah, beautiful as well. Just like, this style is just so good. It's just such a good style, you know? Look at this, uh, like, look at this color palette here. So you get the gold terracotta and the stripped jungle wood. Jungle wood, mm-hmm. So me personally, like I would never come up with this combo. Um, these guys do a nice job with it. Yeah, it looks good. I love jungle wood. I used to hate it, <laughs> but it's uh, lately jungle wood has really been coming around for me. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, it's this is really cool as well. The very much like a, um, a similar vibe to the last place, but they yeah. went for a little bit more height here, which is really cool. Yep, a little more height. Um, actually, if we come this way too, you're gonna see the more Spanish vibe. So this kingdom is supposed to be the seat of the uh, religious aspect of the server, so like kind of the religious lore. So, um, so you're gonna kind of get a Vatican vibe as we come over here. Ooh. Oh yeah, I can feel it. Oh look, this is like a big old square. Yeah. The scale here is really amazing. Whew. Wait, they're using glass here? Yeah, isn't that a funny effect? I don't know if you can see it with the shape. Glass panes. When you're uh, in vanilla, you can see the lines and it actually has a, a detail effect. The lines aren't as prominent in uh, in the shaders, but I can definitely see them. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Huh? Interesting. But as you can tell, we like to use uh, diorite on the server. Yeah, but diorite's a good block, though. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with good old diorite. At the beginning, I mentioned um, using terrain, and I'm going to show you a really good example using terrain here so this is a this build is called um the iron islands obviously inspired by game of thrones yep and it's kind of like a dual castle connected with a bridge um, that's like two castles in one yeah connected with the bridge this is and, insane and, and well. totally inspired by like pike from game of thrones mm-hmm in terms of concept, but when you when you fly around the main four, you can kind of see how he built it into the terrain instead of flattening everything out. Yeah, and all these like different levels with terraces and whatnot is really amazing. I'm trying to grab a screenshot of this big old keep here. It's so cool. Yeah, that castle, like the the bigger keep of the two, and that's really beautiful from like a little bit of a downward direction. I really want to highlight this ship as well. It's actually insanely detailed and the shapes and everything is just perfect. I am not very good at ships myself, so these ships always like amaze me how people can like figure out these shapes. <laughs> You know, it seems like people, yeah, a lot of people will, will specialize in certain things, right? Like some people will be really good at ships. Other people will be really good at castles, right? Mm -hmm. Other people will be really good at terraforming, but it's, you know, can't be the jack of all trades, I guess. Yeah, I, I can really see what you mean, how he built it into the terrain with like, he made it very structured at, on the top and then just like added more natural shapes or organic shapes at the bottom oh this is amazing so the this inspiration is here this is, uh, minus Tirith. yeah 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 i can see that this is fantasy as heck <laughs> oh, yep. and the glass bridges mm -mm -mm. Yeah, this is super awesome. It's really insane to me that a lot of this is made in survival. Like, almost all of this is made in survival. 
or that all of it is. I mean, it's it's just so cool. I I'm so bad at like filming for the viewers. <laughs> I should really be better at like not flying up on top of things to stand on them. <laughs> oh, look at this bridge though. The arches here with the floating, the floating parts. Mm. So good. Yeah, it's a nice touch. So many creative people on here. Okay, real quick, I'll show you one other uh, element build that I think you'll like. Yes. Ooh, the detail. Right. So now you mentioned that you like uh, Oblivion. So if you look up at that central tower, you can kind of see the inspiration there. Oh, I hit my head. <laughs> yes, I can see it. The Imperial City. Yes. Um, so I think it's gonna. It's supposed to be bigger than this, but uh, he kind of ran up to the, the height limit here. Oh man, this build though. I. This is actually really cool. I love all the uh, really colorful roofs and whatnot with the gradients in everything uh, and not being afraid of doing like really bold gradients. So here, for example, it's like prismarine. And then, I mean, I guess it's not technically a gradient. I don't know. It's It goes like prismarine, then warped logs and then purple and then whatever this is light blue terracotta it just it's a really nice effect even though it's like not technically like a a very it's a very bold gradient but it, yeah so because of the high elven um, backstory he, uh, he, uh, he he's going with very kind of atypical patterns and on top of that he's adding a lot of diagonals so when you start doing high elven weird angles and then diagonal builds, it's it's very tough. And this this is a very complex build. Yes, it is very heavily detailed as well, which I love. Oh, look at this! Like just a little on top of the pillar here on the bridge, he added like a little extra roof, and he's got a little flower pots on there. And using the player heads and everything, this is really cool. And also what struck me first also was this, like the facade of this, like, uh, what call it? Like pillory building here. The detail in this facade with the granite and the sandstone and the shapes here are really good. What I love a lot about his build is this, mother, this elven mother tree in here. Yeah, this is a really good organic build. And as it turns tonight, you'll see the tree light up. Oh, oh yeah. Is that the shroom lights? The shroom. Yep. Beautiful. Oh, and I love the little paths they got going down here as well. The winding road that leads up to it. All right, that's gonna have to be it for this um, tour. And thank you so much, Lord Omen, for for the tour. Um, so, is there anything you want to like plug or anything you want to tell tell the viewers, or if they maybe want to apply for the server or something like that? Yeah, absolutely. If, so, if you're a skilled builder, experienced builder. Um join our discord and apply to build with us we're always looking for new players there's plenty of maps still to uh, explore and build on so we're always looking for new bodies um so yeah come give us uh, check us out on our discord definitely do and i know for a fact they place uh they they upload like really great pics to twitter and instagram as well so you go should go follow them there and I'll leave all the links for the discords and all the whatnots in, in the description as well. So you can find them easily. Uh, but thanks so much for the tour. The builds here are insane. Uh, you guys do some great work and uh, it was really inspiring. 